All right, so for your next settings, we go to DaVinci Resolve, then we go to Preferences, and in Preferences, you want to go to your memory and your GPU. All right, so this is very important that if you are using a video card, so in my case, I use the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070, and this is a video card built in in my computer, you want to check this box. If you don't check this box, DaVinci Resolve does not use your video card. So probably DaVinci will work very slow and will work on the half of their capacity and you don't want this. So check this box and check this box also. So if you check automatically, it will automatically check for your GPU. And don't forget to do this, this is important. My media storage, I put everything on C, so I leave the rest also to the default settings. Then we go to general. And again, this is an important note if you are a Mac user, because when you're a Mac user, you will see the option use Mac display color profiles for viewers and you want to check that box. So you don't see that because I'm on the Windows, uh, but if you are a Mac user, you will see it and check that box. You also want to check the box, automatically tag Rec 709 scene clips as Rec 709A. But for Windows user, I'm totally fine with this setup. If you're using 10-bit, you can use 10-bit colorless precision and I will check the box automatically check for updates and the rest I will leave to the default settings. Save it and you're good to go.